welcome back to another video in this video actually i'm going to create all the tables for the database online shop db so here i have created a list here you can see that our database name is online shop db and the table name is users categories products single order multiple orders payments okay so let's create one by one so this is our database right so let's create first table so that is the user table right okay so let me just copy it from here and let me paste it here and here you can see we have one two three four five six seven column so let's uh, select here seven and now click on create so it will actually create the table and now the first one is id the second one is name third one is email Fourth one is password and a phone address role ID is integer okay and it should be auto implemented so I will click here auto implemented and here you can see it by default it's now act as primary key and the next one is name so name should be worker and let's say one uh, to set here length not a big name 100 let's say so okay everything here available and uh, now email so email also worker sorry email also worker and 255 and email should be unique right so i will go here and the email should be unique okay go and password is also worker password 255 done phone number is also worker 55 address also worker uh, okay address can be text why because address can be long okay so address is uh, text and i'm not going to give here any uh, length actually and role is uh, okay the role is enum okay so the enum okay and actually i want to set values so i need two value one for the user one for the admin uh, so first one is admin second one is user okay so go so we have two role admin user okay and everything is all right here now we will save it so our first table is created okay if I go here, you can see ID, name, email, password, phone, address. And email is unique, okay? Okay, everything is all right. Now let's go for the second one. And here I am going to copy the categories. And here you can see uh, I have two column here, uh, category ID and name. So name should be unique, okay? So I need two columns. It should be ID and name. So, worker 255. Uh, still, I don't want big names, so I would say here 100. And uh, it should be unique. And it is auto implemented ID. Okay. And now, actually, I am going to save it. So, our category table is also done. Now let's go for another table and that is products and we need how many column so now i need how many column one two three four five six seven eight how many column eight column okay so eight and then create first one is id second one is name right third one is description description okay now let me just copy from here okay everything description description okay price stock image category id 
category name id is auto incremented so let's just track it auto incremented name is worker and 255 let's say description should be text and i'm not going to mention the length price is integer okay stock integer ms worker 255 then we have category id uh, the category id is integer and category name is worker okay 255 okay everything is all right here now actually i'm going to save it so we have created one more table that is called products and let's go for another table so or the person actually want to buy he can buy a single thing or multiple thing right i mean multiple or uh, items or single items so actually i want to create single order uh, table for the single order okay and so the person actually can uh, order multiple items so i have created another uh, table for it multiples order so let's create first single order so i'm going to copy it and here i'm going to paste it and i need one two three four column okay the first column is id and the second column is user id it's id this is user id and this is total amount amount status status so id is auto incremented so let me check it user id integer total amount integer okay status let's say enum so i'll go for it enum and status is okay so why i need a status here actually i don't need any status here right because i've created uh, payments for this now actually i'm going to save and after that actually i am going to delete the status okay no problem and i'm going to delete it now okay so for the single order you can see i have id user id and total amount okay so we have created uh four tables now let's go for the next one that is for the multiple orders so let me just copy it um okay and i'm going to copy it paste it here and i have uh i need one two three four five five column see it last one is id auto incremented let me just select it and we need user id user id okay and we need product id and we need quantity subtotal So product ID, quantity, in subtotal. Okay. So all of them are integers, no problem. And actually, yes. quantity. Okay. Subtotal. Okay. Now I'm going to save it. Now let's go for the last table payments for the payment. And actually, I'm going to click here once again. And now I'm going to paste it here. Payments and how many column actually I need? One, two, three payment id so the id auto incremented and order id okay so order id actually we are getting from the order table okay single order or multiple orders okay so uh, how many column actually i need payment order and payment method so the three okay three column get Here, ID, order ID, order, orders ID, payment method, payment method. Also, maybe I have it because payment method should be 
Yeah. Okay. Enough. And actually, I want to set one value for it. And that is cash on delivery. Okay. Cash on. Cash on and go. So we have order ID, we have ID, and ID should be auto incremented. So let me just check it, and it should be the primary key. So everything is done here. Now, actually, I'm going to save it. So all the table that have been created. So in our next video, actually, we will, uh, you know, do design and we will actually, uh, you know, create some dummy products. Okay. And we will complete the design part for the index space. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.